What's going on YouTube? Top Thinker today. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick hands-on and first impressions of what I think of the latest iOS 7 Beta 1. Now of course this isn't the official release but I managed to get the first uh, release for developers and I have to say there's some things that I really like, some things that still need fixing. So without further ado let's get in with the video. On the 11th of June, WWDC took place in San Francisco, and of course in this conference every year we normally see more software developments rather than hardware, and this year was no exception. This year we saw the release of OS X Mavericks alongside with the speculated iOS 7. Now ever since the iPhone was launched in 2007, we really haven't seen a difference in this software. It's really been that home page, and of course slowly over the years few additions were added. However, finally this year iOS 7 was completely revamped following the appointment of Johnny Ive in the software development team for iOS. Of course, as you know, Sir Johnny Ive is really the brains behind the designs of majority of Apple products, and of course iOS 7 is no exception. Now we did see a lot of rumors that there will be a flatter design, and of course that is definitely the case. We can see that there's much more of a minimalistic uh, look to it than expected. A lot of people were thinking that it would change, but I think that Apple have done a great job in introducing a new revamped iOS uh, software. Now, of course, the most important thing that Apple wants to do is make sure that consumers that already have iOS and are used to the iPhone interface, that they don't have a complete change, uh, say, for example, as far as taking it as far as Android, which can make it very difficult uh, in terms of user adoption as well as customer satisfaction. So of course they've added these features, they've really changed the design to give it a different feel and I have to say it's really nice. And even from the iOS first uh, beta 1, I have to say there's very little uh, bugs and the only bugs I really found were uh, within third party apps which of course are yet to be supported uh, by iOS 7. However everything in terms of what Apple have done seemed like it it could be officially uh, released tomorrow of course that's just waiting for developers to get the apps all done in place a lot of things have changed so for example in the camera interface now you've got the sort of swipe it's slightly different and Apple have based a lot of the applications and the windows on translucency so when you're within applications and things like that uh, iMessages, FaceTime, in the camera app you see a lot of translucent and that background is always adopted so you always have that uh, wallpaper in the background somehow the colors change to the translucency of the application to show the background. In the photos application they've added a lot of features such as collections so you can actually view all your uh, pictures over the past years and automatically puts it into categories such as events as you see with iPhoto on Mac OS X. In terms of multitasking, this has become much more of a true multitasking. Previously, you would double tap and only the icons would come at the bottom. However, now you actually get to see the full window, which makes it much more uh, user friendly, much more easier. The only thing is that you can't, as of now, you can't quit all the apps at once. The weather app is beautiful. It's one of the nicest things that I have to say that Apple have put into their stock applications. Uh, it gives you a full view and it's gives you the whole uh, sort of weather uh, pattern and everything else and you get to see uh, like live weather you get to see like animations of snow rain as well as sun and clouds again the music interface has been changed and one of the most notable things I saw is when you actually swipe and switch over to landscape the cover flow has now become slightly different and it's got sort of this like this uh, three by six where you get about three uh, where you get about 18 icons, 18 albums, in fact, that you get to view. And of course, if you have cover cover art on all the albums, that makes it even better. The video interface has also been slightly changed. Uh, well, actually, quite, quite changed. Obviously, it's just as simple as it was before, but you get to see that there's that translucent, and you can still see the video playing in the background despite the icons on the top. Now, I don't want to go too much into the video for copyright reasons. Um, in terms of 30 part applications, I was quite reluctant in the beginning because I still use the iPhone as a daily driver, a second daily driver alongside the S4. And however, quite a lot of apps that I use on a daily basis, such as Facebook, Flipboard, Twitter, Instagram, they all uh, worked pretty fine. There weren't really any problems. Again, there's small, uh, small glitches, but nothing that really inhibits you from using the program. Uh, Safari, again, tab browsing has never been easier and you can have unlimited tabs. So you can, as you can see, um, you can just uh, sort of get three tabs and you see them in quite a nice artistic way and for example when you're on a different website and you are clicking from one link to the other uh, going from different pages what you can actually do is similar on Mac OS X with a multi-touch you can actually just swipe back between web pages so that makes it much easier and it gives you a better experience when browsing on Safari on the iPhone with iOS
So overall, since the past 5 years, Apple really haven't made a difference in terms of the software, but I think iOS 7 has definitely changed that. I can see that this is going to develop further and I really think that Johnny Ive has done a great job in terms of the design. You can really see that they've done something very different uh, from the previous generations of the software and I can see this being even better in terms of bringing back iPhone users that may have changed to Android. Anyway, that's from Top Tech. If you guys are interested in more videos like this, don't forget to stay subscribed, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you later.